being unsure of everything is not the same thing as being sure that there's nothing. I think that a lot of people seem to actually fall into the habit of thinking that if you're not absolutely certain of something, then everything is just nothingness, that it's just terrifying chaos. I don't think that's the case at all. For example, provisionally speaking, I live on this street with a road over there and live in this house and uh, I'm married to a woman and I uh, go to work every day and I have a job. I do all these things, okay. But I can question the very foundations of that and say I'm not really sure what is really going on and I'm not really sure that it makes any sense and I'm not really sure that um, even the physical laws of uh, or sorry, the laws of physics around me really actually apply in any absolute sense. But provisionally, I accept them. Now, <clears throat> this is not saying that I don't believe in the laws of physics, or that I don't believe that I live in this house, or that I don't believe that I'm living a life, or that I have a job, or whatever. It's non-absolute thinking as opposed to total nihilism. Some people seem to think that it's an either-or thing. It's not. The options aren't illusion or existential panic. Um, I think that the idea that we those are the only two uh, options account for, well, probably the overwhelming bulk of the misery in this world that gets caused. Um, <clears throat> what will people do to avoid existential panic? <clears throat> what will they do to distract themselves from that one moment of what they believe to be primal horror. Uh, you run across hints of this even when you're discussing philosophy with seemingly fairly stable and knowledgeable people. I won't even say that existential panic isn't real. Um, I know what it feels like. But uh, even then, um, you have to question that as well. If you're going to question that, um, if you're not going to question that, then you're not going to question someone's blind faith in a, in a loving God in a benevolent universe. Um, it's amazing the number of people that have blind faith in a negative, horrible universe, in a, in a um, terrible reality that we live in. It's a blind faith thing. No, um, it's not a question of illusion or panic. We, I don't think that we have those two polarities to choose from. Uh, both of them have <clears throat> problems all of their own. Um, Non-absolute thinking is not the same thing as arguing the universe out of existence. Um, it's not saying that you believe that there is nothing. That in itself, actually, is a positive claim.